I'm going to explain about reference electrode. So now let us see in detail about reference electrode. It is a reversible electrode. That means it acts as cathode as well as anode. Hence, we call it as reversible electrode. And also, it has known electrode potential. That means its uh, electrode potential is already known to us. Hence, uh, we can use this reference electrode to determine the electrode potential of the unknown electrode. Hence, uh, its name is reference electrode. So why uh, we are defining reference electrode, we must write three things. One is it is a reversible electrode of known electrode potential. And one more is we must uh, include which is used to determine the electrode potential of the other electrode. So reference electrode is a reversible electrode of known electrode potential, which is used to determine the electrode potential of the unknown electrode. Hence, it is known as reference electrode. There are two types of reference electrodes. One is primary reference electrode and the other one is secondary reference electrode. Primary reference electrode is the reference electrode whose potential is taken as zero. Most common example for primary reference electrode is standard uh, hydrogen electrode, that is SHE. But the standard hydrogen electrode has some limitation. One of the limitation is uh, it is difficult to maintain one molar concentration of hydrogen ions. So one more uh, limitation is uh, we cannot use this standard hydrogen electrode in the presence of any oxidizing or the reducing agent. So in order to overcome the limitations of primary reference electrode, some other electrodes of constant electrode potentials have been constructed. And those are known as secondary reference electrode. This secondary reference electrode is the re reference electrode whose potential is not zero. The primary reference electrodes, uh, electrode potential is zero. Here it is not zero, but exactly known to us. And this electrode potential value depends on the concentration of the solution in which it is dipped. Most common example for this secondary reference electrode is the calomel electrode. One more example is silver silver chloride electrode. So now let us see in detail about calomel electrode. In that first, let us see the construction of calomel electrode. This calomel electrode mainly consists of a glass tube in which mercury is placed at the bottom. Inside the mercury level, a paste of uh, mercury and mercurous chloride paste was placed and the remaining space is filled with potassium chloride solution. So mainly this uh, calomel electrode consists of uh, glass tubes. This glass tubes contains mainly three layers. First layer is mercury layer and the second layer is mercury and mercurous chloride paste layer and the third layer is potassium chloride solution. After that, uh, a platinum, uh, uh, a sealed platinum wire is dipped into mercury and which is used to connect the electricity and the external circuit. So this is uh, about construction of the calomel electrode. Now let us see the representation of calomel electrode. This is the representation of calomel electrode. Now let us see the construction, uh, not construction, now let us see the working of calomel electrode. We know any reference electrode is the reversible electrode. That means it acts as cathode as well as anode. This calomel electrode is an example for reference electrode. Hence, this calomel electrode is also a reversible electrode. That means it also acts as cathode as well as anode depending on the nature of the other electrode. So when the calomel electrode act as anode, the reaction is this mercury 
react with the chloride ions which is present in the potassium chloride solution here the formation of mercurous chloride is takes place along with the liberation of electrons that means here the oxidation will takes place when it act as when the calomel electron act as cathode the reaction is this mercurous chloride reduced to its metal form uh, along uh, along with the addition of electrons here the formation of chloride ion is also takes place so here the addition of electron will takes place hence here the reduction will takes place when the calomel electron is act as cathode so by looking at these two reaction we can observe that in both the reaction we can observe chloride ions Hence, uh, we can say that the electrode potential of the calomel electrode depends on the concentration of the chloride, uh, uh, potassium chloride solution. So now let us see the uses of uh, calomel electrode. One of the uses it is used in the measurement of single electrode potential. It is also used in all uh, potentiometric determination. Then it is used for pH estimation also. Now let us see the application of uh, calomel electrode. First application is calomel electrode is used to determine the electrode potential of the zinc electrode. So now let us see how to determine the electrode potential of zinc electrode by using calomel electrode. In this electrochemical cell, the zinc metal is immersed in zinc sulfate solution. Then this zinc electrode is connected to calomel electrode through a uh, voltmeter. When, uh, when it is connected to voltmeter, this zinc uh, electrode act as anode because uh, he, uh, at zinc electrode, the dissolution will be easy. Hence, uh, electrons will be easily removed. Electrons will be easily removed means the oxidation will take place. Hence, this uh, zinc electrode act as anode. At calomel electrode, uh, this calomel electrode receives the electrons. Hence, the reduction will take place. Hence, this calomel electrode act as um, cathode. And this is the cell, and this is the um, uh, cell representation of uh, this electrochemical um, cell. Now let us see how to determine the electrode potential of the zinc electrode. We have the formula: electrode potential of the cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode. Here at cathode, calomel electrode act as cathode. At anode, uh, this zinc electrode act as Anode. Hence, we can write this equation as E cell is equal to 2 E calomel minus E zinc. But we want the uh, electrode potential of the zinc electrode. So by rearranging, we can write this equation as E zinc is equal to 2 E calomel minus E cell. So by using this equation, we can determine the electrode potential of the zinc electrode. One more application of calomel electrode is to determine the electrode potential of the uh, copper electrode. Now let us see how to determine the electrode potential of copper electrode by using calomel electrode. In this electrochemical cell, uh, this copper rod is immersed in copper sulfate solution and which is connected to calomel electrode uh, through voltmeter. When it is connected through voltmeter, this copper electrode act as cathode and this calomel electrode act as anode. In the previous example, this calomel electrode act as cathode. Here it acts act as anode. Hence, so we call it as reversible electrode. And this is the uh, representation of this electrochemical cell. So now let us see how to determine the electrode potential of the copper electrode. Here also we are using the same formula that is uh, uh, E cell is equal to, to E cathode minus E anode. Here at cathode, copper electrode is copper electrode act as cathode. And uh, 
calomel electrode act as anode so uh, we can write this equation as Sn is equal to E copper minus E calomel we need the electrode potential of copper electrode so by rearranging we can write this equation as E copper is equal to two E calomel plus E cell so by using this equation we can determine the electrode potential of copper electrode so overall we discuss reference electrode and it's two times that is primary reference electrode by taking standard hydrogen electrode as an example and secondary reference electrode by taking calomel electrode as an example we also discuss the application of calomel electrode for the determination of copper electrode as well as the zinc electrode